Now, we all know that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium is coming out in February of next year, which is actually only like four months. It's actually getting really, really close. Uh, and just a couple days ago, they dropped a poster for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium, which I love. I love this poster, especially when you compare it to the crap that they dropped. At, I don't remember what it was. Was it Comic-Con or D23? I think it was Comic-Con. When you compare these two, there's no comparison. The new poster is superior. And along with the poster... We got our very first trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium. And starting right off the bat with this trailer, I love the way it starts out. You got Scott Lang, Paul Rudd on top of the world. He's definitely doing pretty well after Avengers Endgame. He's a bit of a celebrity now. I guess his podcast must be doing pretty good, huh? Anyways, so as the trailer goes on, he's getting recognized by people being called Spider-Man. That was a funny joke in the trailer. I really enjoyed that. And uh, Cassie is all grown up, as we saw in Endgame, and now she's like a quantum genius now. I'm not quite sure how they're going to play that in the movie, but she creates some kind of device that allows them to communicate with, with the quantum realm, and they get sucked into the quantum realm. And that's where a lot of this trailer takes place, is just showing us images and our first look inside the quantum realm. And I really like the way that this movie looks like a big, old-fashioned, giant sci-fi B-movie from like the old days, but just with the Marvel budget and the Marvel flair on it, with the creature and the aliens in the quantum realm which we got a little bit of a look at in ant-man and the wasp uh the second one but uh we didn't get any demogorgons like this in that movie so that's really awesome and of course in the trailer we get our first footage of kang he's not in the trailer very much but we get our first look at him here uh we get a look at his army for i'm sure this is gonna continue on in kang dynasty and that's what's really cool I think about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Medium is the Ant-Man movies have always kind of been the, the middle MCU movies that don't usually have the wider consequences to the MCU, but they're starting Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Medium. You can feel it in this trailer. Phase five is going to start. They are starting a new story arc, a new storyline to follow. This trailer gave me those old fashioned feelings for a Marvel trailer where I'm like, yes, okay, what's happening next in the story? What's happening next in the world? This feels like we're advancing the story more than phase four has felt that way. And of course, Jonathan May just comes out at the end looking great I like to see him as the villain in this movie and going forward in the MCU. All in all, I thought this trailer was a lot of fun. It looked bonkers. Not so many jokes. They definitely tried to keep this kind of serious and feel in that serious tone. I loved it. I cannot wait to see this movie. I can't believe it's only four months away. What do you guys think of the first trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Manium? Did you love it? Did it disappoint you? Comment down below. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions, guys. And without further ado, let's take a look at what you guys are saying about this.